uh, moving away from housing now to education, where the minister, Professor Tahir Mahmoud, says libraries are the custodians of knowledge and information, and hence the need to develop effective means of promoting reading culture among the youths. Professor Mahmoud stated that he's in Ondo Town, Ondo State, at the commissioning of a modern academic library built and donated by the National Coordinator of the Progressive Change Agency Initiative, Dr. Shun Bosede Osamai. Also, a staff of Adeyemi Federal University of Education on Do Town. The minister, who was represented by the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academics, Federal University of Technology at Korea Futa, Professor Taiwo Amos, noted that in the last couple of years, the reading culture has been on the decline, especially in Nigeria and Africa in general. The acting Deputy Vice Chancellor at Adeyemi Federal University of Education, Undo, Dr. Samuel Akintode, and the donor, Dr. Shimu Osamai, also highlighted the importance of libraries as motivators of students to cultivate reading habits. Glad to hear that the acting Deputy Vice Chancellor had made a pronouncement towards the immediate utilization of this edifice. May I encourage the university and its community members to take advantage of the library's resources, participate in its program, and support its continued growth and sustainability. I want to congratulate the university again for having this first of its kind, not coming from the, uh, the government, but from an individual. It's not job satisfaction. Most staffs are not happy with what is happening in the educational sector. And the truth of the matter is government alone cannot do it. If we leave the educational sector alone in the hands of government, then we are not serious about development in the education sector. If truly we want development for the sector, it is the duty of every one of us to identify whatever it is we can do within the system and find a way to do it. This awesome donation is the first of its kind by a serving staff in the School of Languages and even in the Federal University of Education. For this remarkable note, let me say that I am short of words of appreciation to the donor, Dr. Shemboss and the Without missing words, this is a very well thought out. 